Che si mangia la zita, che si mangia la zita, che si mangia la zita la prima sera. Che si mangia la zita la prima sera. What's going on? We're coming to you from Arthur Avenue in the Bronx, the real little Italy, not the one in Manhattan that everybody else knows about. And today we're going to be exploring the Ferragosto Festival, which is a celebration of the end of the harvest season. And for the last 15 or so years, a lot of the local businesses have come together, put on a fair here. We're going to be eating a whole lot. Hope it brought your appetites. On the Amo. All right, guys, introducing my guest star for this episode, Andrew Giallella. I needed an Italian, and I brought one of my good friends from Jersey. Andrew, how are you enjoying this so far? Uh, very authentic. Very nice place. Uh, a lot of desserts. A lot of food I haven't eaten yet, but uh, there's a line for the uh, sausage and peppers, so hopefully we can get some of that there. I like how the cheese is like kind of grilled into this. Yeah, how would you compare it to like the normal sausage and peppers you get in Jersey? Well, these are a little more roasted. They look a little more uh, homemade. Alright, so we just got a slice from Mario's, one of the most famous restaurants in the Bronx, so in Italy. Just two dollars, seems like an awesome value. Let's check it out. You've been joking that we're probably not going to be eating uh, any meals the rest of the day. This is breakfast, lunch, and dinner all in one. So we're in the Arthur Avenue retail market right now, which is a nice escape from the Ferragosto Festival. It's getting a little crowded in there. And we're just checking out the different shops and live music here. It's a lot of fun. This is basically garlic and oil, spaghettata, so you just prepare it with olive oil, and then you throw it in your hot oil and oil. And then this is basically pomodoro, so it's got cheese and some other things in it, and you can mix it with rice and vegetables. There's a recipe, I guess, for it. I can't read it because it's in Italian. I am Italian, but I can't read Italian. How sad. So. What's like your best seller? Cannolis and Fieldhouse. Okay. What do you like better? Too large cannolis, please. coolest things about this festival is that you can walk down the street and you can just duck into like a pork store that has a sausage chandelier. <laughs> Isn't it pretty crazy we've been here almost four hours? Yeah, well there's a lot going on here, a lot in this small street. Much to do, much to see, much to experience, and much to eat. Much to eat, yes, exactly. Much to eat, absolutely. <laughs>
special thanks to Andrew, my guest star for this episode. The Ferragosto Festival is awesome. We've had four hours pass by in the blink of an eye. Remember, this festival takes place just once a year, and the hours are 12 to 6 p.m. My first tip for you is come early. It can get pretty crowded. Tip number two, bring lots of cash, as none of the outdoor vendors accept credit card. And most importantly, come with an empty stomach. You can eat and drink to your heart's desire. This place is the definition of Italian hospitality. Hope you all enjoy the footage. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe to Here Be Bar Travel Vlogs. We've got new videos coming out weekly trying to help you travel smarter. Be a part of where you go. Thanks for watching. Anything more Italian than smoking a cigar? Probably living in Italy.